Whoa, whoa, Mark, you sat in a different place. I don't like it. It's fine. Relax. So in the last video, we unboxed and we had a look at the brand new Shadow... Shadow Ghost. Shadow Ghost. Ow. And one of the new features of the Shadow Ghost compared to the previous Shadow Box is it's now brand new Bluetooth connectivity, which as I mentioned in the previous video, now means that you can use PlayStation controllers, Xbox controllers, and third party controllers and almost use the Shadow Ghost as a console, hence why we're connected up to the TV. It's quite an old TV, but it'll do. So today we're gonna to take a look at how to connect the Xbox controller and the PS4 controller. I don't unfortunately have any third party controllers because any that I get my hands on are usually just give away. So we're gonna start off with the Xbox controller. So in order to do this, we're gonna to have to go real old school and I'm just gonna to have to record the TV because the part that we need to see is actually outside of the cloud gaming PC. It's the shadow login screen. So if I hit a screen recorder, it's not gonna capture it. So first things first, as I mentioned, we don't do anything inside the actual Windows PC. Uh, we want to go back to the shadow login screen so let's quickly log out okay so we've logged out from our virtual machine as i mentioned in the previous video this is just your shadow logon page anyone who uses the current shadow app from an existing device will be used to this screen except for two differences in the bottom corner here first one here is just shows ethernet connectivity so at the moment it knows that it's plugged into my router if i wanted to connect through wi-fi instead that would become a Wi-Fi button and I could then connect to my router that way. The one we are interested in is right next to it. Uh, it's the Bluetooth option. Right now it's red, so Bluetooth is not enabled. So we click that, enable Bluetooth, and at the moment it's listing my available devices because I've tested this beforehand because I am professional. Uh, so I've connected the Xbox controller and PS4 controller before this. Neither of them are currently connected though. So in the same way you would use to connect an Xbox controller to an Xbox they hadn't used before or one that it wasn't currently paired with. So hold down the Xbox button, it will start flashing. Uh, my one is automatically connected, but anyone with an Xbox controller knows this. There is the connection button at the top here. Under available devices, it'll actually come up Xbox wireless controller. It will recognize exactly what it is. Click to connect, mine's already connected. We click start, we jump into our regular shadow session. So now we're logged into my actual PC. Xbox controller is still connected. We're gonna try it out on a game of Overwatch. Before we do, just one quick tip for you, just in case your setup was anything like mine, in case the sound is still going through the headphones over there. Um, obviously, Windows, you just go to the sound settings down here, change it to, so I've got my headphones there. It's, it's picked up the TV, just make sure it's going through the TV. So now that the game is launched, there should be zero need for keyboards, mice, anything. Uh, with the Xbox controller connected, you can see, I can navigate up and down the menu. Um, I've got to say, Xbox by far is the best translation into this. Obviously it's Microsoft into Microsoft. So with this setup now in place, there's no need for me to be sat on the floor like a fool. Anyone saw my previous video, you know we got a main as Junkrat, because, not because he's the only one I know how to play. Everyone has their favorites. Let's go, 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 go. Let's try and pop through this hole like an expert. But got him. Distraction method. I'm not here to kill anyone. Just get in the way. Oh, see, I got in the way. Real good. Supercharger is ready to be deployed. Objective A is captured. Commence I attack. You in my sights. Rally at my position.
Okay, so that's Xbox. Uh, nice and simple to connect, easy, effective, win. I mean, I actually won that game. Call me. Which leads us on to PS4. Um, obviously, a little bit of a difference. This is made by Sony, it's not made by Windows. Still not impossible to connect. A uh, couple of extra steps involved. Number one, uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below. You will need one piece of driver software called DS4. Uh, essentially what it does is takes the inputs of a PlayStation 4 controller, converts them to what they would be on an Xbox controller so that you can use your PlayStation 4 controller. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Make sure that drive is installed. They recommend maybe wait 10, 15 minutes after installation just to make sure that Windows picks up the new driver and do a restart of the system. Okay, once you've got the driver installed... Wait a sec, am I dressed like the guy from Gilmore Girls? Can we change the subject? Wait a sec, how do I know who the guy from Gilmore Girls is? It's not important. Okay, once your driver is installed, it's back to this screen. And then for the PlayStation controller, it's holding the PlayStation button and the share button for three to five seconds until the light on top starts flashing. There we go. Now, as I said, because this is not made by Windows, this one just comes up as wireless controller. Very generic. But wireless controller connected, light, weirdly, uh, is on, goes a very dim, color compared to when you've got it connected to the PlayStation. It's like, I'm connected to something, but I know it's not a PlayStation, so you're only gonna get half my effort. But exactly the same controller's connected, we're gonna hit start, we're gonna go back in, and we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so we're back into a game of Overwatch. PlayStation 4 controller is still connected, and as we did before, you can see, we can still navigate the menu options using this. So let's jump into a game real quick. Okay, so we're back into a game as Junkrat, we're using the PlayStation 4 controller. Um, but I can tell just from the, the game we played before, there is a notable difference in using the PlayStation 4 controller compared to the Xbox controller. For me, the reason for that, I'm pretty sure will be because of the translation that it needs to do from PlayStation to Xbox using the DS4 driver that we installed. And that is 100% to do with the translation of the controller because as you saw in the Xbox One, it felt perfectly normal um, input was almost immediate. It was no different to me than playing on a console. So then that's the PlayStation controller. As I said, still works, still very playable. I'm still able to get kills, because you know, hashtag pro gamer. <laughs> no, 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 no. But as I mentioned, a noticeable difference from the Xbox controller. So if you're thinking of doing either two, uh, unfortunately, if you've got a PlayStation, I recommend just buying one Xbox controller for this purpose, because the experience is just something completely different. And when it comes to third party controllers, I mean, that's a minefield. I'm not touching that one. <laughs> so my recommendation, Xbox controller all the way. Uh, this was just a quick demonstration to show how the Shadow Ghost can be used pretty much as a games console. So you're playing your favorite PC games as a console from across the room. Pretty cool. But as always guys, if you enjoyed the video, a like, a comment down below, anything like that will really help small channels like mine beat the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel. And as always, I shall see you in the next one. Thank you.